Are you afraid of hunger? I could totally relate. Let's talk about it today and I'm going to show you a strategy that can help you. It's Kathy here with Weight Loss God's Way and I'm out for a walk in the forest. Actually, I'm on vacation and so what Preston and I enjoy doing on vacation is hiking. And so I thought I'd take some time out just to share some things with you. Um, one of the things that I struggled with a lot is hunger and fear of hunger. Meaning, if I was going for a two hour car ride, I had to pack a cooler full of food. Because what if, heaven forbid, I got hungry? I don't know if you can relate to this. Um, once Preston and I had a really busy day and it was about nine o'clock at night and it was too late to make anything. And usually I try to stop eating by about seven, eight, so it was nine o'clock and so Preston says, no problem, I'll just go to bed. And I remember the anxiety that came through my body as he said that. I was like, what do you mean? You'll just go to bed. How can you go to bed hungry? And he's like, no problem, I'll just eat tomorrow. And I remember that was such a big reminder that, you know, for some people, hunger is not a trigger. But for me, and maybe for you, hunger just brings up some fears of, what if I starve? What if I die? I mean, it's absolutely, it doesn't have to make sense. But it's just an awareness to recognize that for some people, that feeling of hunger is very unnerving, is very uncomfortable. And so what I'm encouraging you to do, which I'm, I'm still learning how to do, is to think of hunger as a minor annoyance. Kind of like, you know, mosquitoes out here that I'm swatting, it's annoying. Or a loud plane flying over your head. It's annoying for a little bit, but the feeling's gonna pass. And that's much like hunger is, you'll have a wave of hunger, but that feeling is gonna pass. It's not gonna stay, you're not gonna die. You're definitely not gonna starve because there's always food readily available. But I'm encouraging you, as I encourage myself, to reframe how you see hunger and see hunger more as a minor annoyance. Recognize when it brings up that anxiety in your body and sit in that hunger for a bit. Not too long, but just long enough to ask yourself, okay, I'm feeling hungry, hungry but am I gonna die? The answer is no. Am I going to starve? The answer is no. The hunger w comes in waves, so it will pass. Then you could go to bed and you can wake up the next day and you can eat. So the question might be, why don't I just eat? Well, if you are committed to a health and weight releasing journey, then ideally you don't want to eat just before going to bed because that energy is going to be stored. It's not going to be used because you're obviously not going to be um, exercising or using that cal those calories. So they're going to be stored and your body doesn't need them. It's going to store them. And if you're on a weight releasing journey, you're trying to use up those stored calories. You're not trying to save more of them. So that's why you don't want to eat. You want to eat ideally three hours, I'd say before bedtime is the rule that I uh, try to adhere to as one of my healthy boundaries. All right, so I pray that blesses you. If you're one of those people like me who uh, get panicked when you're hungry, uh, type in the chat, let me know. Or if you're one of those people like my husband who was like, eh, I'm good, I'll eat tomorrow. I wanna know too. I'm gonna do an informal poll right now. All right, that's it for today. God bless you. I'm going to continue my hike in this beautiful forest. I'm just gonna show you some of the beautiful scenes. There's Preston, my fearless leader, some of the beautiful sights and sounds, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye. 
Hey, my friend, I pray that you are being blessed by the word that you're receiving. But there's more. It doesn't have to end here. Yes, you can go on YouTube and, and listen and keep listening to my videos. But if you really want to jump in, if you really want to make change, if you are desperately looking for something to help you achieve your healthy weight, I want to show you how we do it at Weight Loss God's Way. No gimmicks, no fads, no quick fixes. Solid Bible teaching, solid action steps, a solid plan to help you get there. So go right now, five days God's way, and learn how to achieve your healthy weight God's way. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.